What's up guys, so I have to be really quiet because it's half past one in the morning. My parents are asleep upstairs. I've literally just got back. I've spent my New Year's with friends and family and I hope you guys have too. I hope you've really enjoyed your 2017. I know it's been rough for some of you. It's been tough, but you've made it through it. And here's to a, a, a cracking 2018. It's gonna be filled with motorbikes and all sorts, I don't know. Anything could happen. Something could happen tomorrow, you never know. But I hope you guys do enjoy your new year. I'm hopefully gonna watch some across tomorrow. I've banged on this little wine in the background to the oven. I've banged on some chicken nuggets at half one in the morning because it's what you do after a couple of drinks of it. But yeah guys, um, thank you for being here with me in 2017. 2017 was a big year for me, did a face reveal. Bought my R3, spent about three grand in mods on it, and there's so much more to come. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not ready, and enjoy 2018. Peace, guys. at the moment it's just it's messed up like the whole world is so so hypnotized by social media and television and things like that and i think humans have gone just they, they, there's such a high point in life that uh, we're at such a, a a stage where we're too smart for ourselves like the whole mobile phone situation you know we now can do so many things on our phones in, in seconds and I don't think our brains are ready for that kind of stuff especially for some people and we're so caught up with people wanting to like us and all this kind of stuff you know you get upset if someone if you add someone on Facebook and they don't add you back really? is that really what the world's come to? the, the fact that really just messing up people were losing money I think the world is just at a state where everything's a bit a bit <laughs> the standard of living now although it's much better than what it was a hundred years ago we're in such a weird stage in life like human beings and like generations of being brought up to hate police now I've had run in with police many of times I actually I wasn't recording but I got pulled over the other day um, simply for the fact that my exhaust is loud and it is it's fair enough like he pulled me over um, and he came up to me and he, he like, there was two people in the car he, one of them got out came up to me and he was like oh take your helmet off of me I said yeah you know fine because I respect the police you know yeah some of them can be bad but humans are never perfect like People expect cops to be absolutely perfect, and they're not. You just physically cannot be a perfect human being, you're going to make mistakes. And luckily for them, they are surrounded by... They, 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 their, their lifestyle, their work, there's one, their work is so... that They've got to deal with so many confrontations and things like that, that they are put in situations where their mistakes could be so minor, but would mean so much. Oh God, what? Someone's going on there. <laughs> but like, you know, they've got to deal with drunk people all the time and things like that. And, you know, you, you get wound up by that. You'd easily get wound up. Anybody that. And people make mistakes. But because they're seen as police officers, they have to be perfect. And that's never going to happen. And the people, like I was saying, people being brought up to, to hate the police. And this police officer came up to me and he told me to put my helmet, take my helmet off. I took my helmet off straight away and he's like, is the bike registered to you? And I was like, yes, it's fine. He done a little walk around my bike. And he said, I've only pulled you over because your exhaust was quite loud. And I said, it is very loud. It is an aftermarket exhaust. Um, it's, a, it's an illegal, it's, 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 it's legal exhaust. And he said, okay, that's fair enough. That's all I needed to know. 
and he got back in his car. It was literally less than a minute. He got back in his car and left me to it. And if I had gone, if I had tried driven off, driving off, or I had been like, no, I'm not taking my helmet off, or something like that, it would have been a whole con completely different situation. And I guarantee a lot of people nowadays, if they saw a police officer in a fight with someone, they'd walk right past. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Or they'd, they'd fucking film it. Now they don't know, that cop could probably be in getting, like, that, that cop could be getting stabbed and, and beaten up. But because he's a cop, people aren't gonna help him. Oh, uh, you cray cray. I have to say, definitely, by going to the gymnastics as a kid, I learned so much respect and manners and there's a word I'm looking for that I can't think of it. My coach was very strict, but that was good. It taught me, taught me rules, taught me respect. And I think there's such a lack of respect for people nowadays. I don't know, at this point I'm kind of jabbering on and I'm, I don't feel like I'm really getting to the point of what I'm trying to say. Let's see if I can talk to some people and uh, see their points, see if they can get it across. No, yeah, just be yourself. Do you look a bit of selfie stuff? But selfie, it's, yeah, it's all wrong. Everything, it's all wrong, selfies. So I asked him a second ago, because actually, I'm guessing this will be in the video that I'm going to be doing. But all about, is the generation we live in? His response, do you want me to say it or do you want to actually, are you going to be in this? Absolutely fucked. Oh, I've got low battery. Oh, well, carry on. Battery, so no, carry on, battery. quick. You've We've got, got time. Battery, so we can't do anything. Everything's a selfie now. It's all fake selfies. Everybody's got to pose for a selfie and then check it and see that I'm not smiling that one. But that is real life. You're not smiling because you're not really happy because it's all fakeness. Everything is fake. We're all about the mobile phone and the internet. We've got to get back to our basics and really feel happy within ourselves, not just fakeness. I think it really is. Like, if you have the confidence enough, Try it for a day to put your phone down. Yes. And right. do something. It's you won't miss it. Yeah, but you will. The first time you do it, you will. Like I, I yesterday I walked to the hairdressers. I walked to the co-op, the hairdressers, and back, which isn't far. And I was busy. As soon as I sat down in the hairdressers, instantly, where's my phone? Everybody is on the phone. Where's you my don't phone? Talk. People and I was like, what talk. do I do? Yeah. But I, I just grabbed a magazine and started reading the magazine. But then like. Phones are good. They they were a good invention, but I do believe information from the yeah. internet. But I do believe it's taken over. It's social media. Everything on social media is taken social over. Media. People are living for likes and stuff. Now I'm saying that this is a video, and I'm looking to get likes and views and things like that. But if you can put one person on the right track and take them off of the wrong track, but then what's the wrong track? The wrong track is going down just social media all the time and not getting out in the real world. I think it's a lot of that. Uh, like, the people that are watching this video, though, are either sat at home on a phone, on a tablet, on a PC, something like that. Get off the bus, use your legs, walk, have a look at what's around you. Not it's just true. On the bus. But then... Nobody wants to walk anymore, nobody wants to do that's, the, that's such a good thing about bikes is, especially my dirt bike, I can go places people will never ever go. And you'll never see. And you'll never see. And I can ride to there and then um, walk around, see all these places, go to different shops and all that. That's why I think motor vlogging and videos and stuff like that is so sick. Because you can watch so many people when they live in America, Australia, uh, Indonesia, all over the world. You can all watch these people. I think that's quite cool. So social media is really dragging us down, I think. And I saw, I saw a quote. Um, I can't remember what it was. It was... It said, do more things in your life to stop checking your phone. Yes. Stop making you check your phone or something like that. Yes. Which I think is so, so true. The second I jump on the motorcycle, I can't check my phone. Yeah. It's such a good time. And, like, you think, oh, you'd be bored. Well, no, I'm not. I'm focused on what I'm doing. Same with gymnastics. When I'm doing gymnastics, that's what I'm mainly focused on is doing my gym. Delete Facebook. Now, that's tricky. That's a hard thing because that's... Just do it. That is people's social gatherings, isn't it, on Facebook, but being able well, to communicate. You could all delete it, and then maybe you could go for a drink and all chat. Nice, wouldn't it? Which would bring the pubs back, businesses back, Britain back. <laughs> Britain back. <laughs> In pubs. Social media is the way our generation socialises now. 
It's bad. Nobody ever goes out. You sit at home and FaceTime each other. Useless updates on Facebook. Bad. FYI, we would never be mates. <laughs> but it's true. It is all true. Internet. And really, we have nothing to say. What's that? That's passenger, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. So my bloody bearded dragon's heat bulb blue. So I'll go in here and buy a new one. Buy him some food while I'm at it. Don't look at the bike as well, it's <laughs> disgustingly dirty. Are they open? Yeah, they are. Oh. What we got? Well, she looks very pleasant. <laughs> I was in and out in literally five minutes, grabbed all this stuff, bashed it in a bag. And she's very nice. Right. Time to fit that because he's right at home right now, freezing his titty is off. Come and move that in my direction. Thankful for that, such a blessing, yeah. Turn every situation into heaven, yeah. Oh, oh you are. Press the rise of the darkest day. Got me feeling some kind of way. Make me wanna savor every moment slowly, slowly. So, just got back, and look at this poor little fella. Look at him. Right, we're gonna, sorry, kicking my weight. We're gonna change that. We're gonna change this bulb. Oh, what a lovely style. Don't worry. A little squash. He's gonna have some heat. This is where they sold me a dodgy bulb. <laughs> right, so I hope I don't get electrocuted. Don't think it's like a different. Oh my god, what a noise. What is wrong with this noise? Oh my days. Oh, I. No. No. Don't do that to me. I bought the wrong bulb. Bollocks. Ah! The annoying thing is, she said, Do you want your receipt? I said, No, I shouldn't need it. What a pleb. Drive all the way back up, but I don't want to. But I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Balls. Guess I'm heading back up. No, you can't. No, you can um, 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 <laughs> You go careful. Um, no. No, because I get told it off again. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. No, ma'am. Oh, cutie. Just an update. Yeah. Went to go get it. Got it. Uh, pissed down. All the way there. And uh, I went to one that's a bit closer, and it cost me uh, quite a lot more, so... Great success! Yay! But, he's gonna have a light now, so... Happy days. Oh, and I probably needed to add this in the video at some point. Uh, I started this uh, when I got my Lorenzo helmet, that one. Um, and the plan was to cover this whole door in stickers. Now, this is... With the Yamaha R3 project that I did, the build project, I uh, got quite a lot of stickers like RNG and uh, Area 22 and all sorts. Some of Area 22 is actually off the Grom. But soon, or at some point, I will be open a PO box and I want you guys to send me stickers. So get your stickers ready, save them up, because this door is going to be covered in stickers, but it can only be motorcycle stickers. So the only kind of odd one out is this little two pound sign but that was from where we went to the Hentridge thing and you put that on your bike kind of thing yeah it's looking pretty good there's the story and um, an SE80 in the background because casual <laughs>